All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We are drilling for oil. Uh, our ship has drifted away a little bit. As you can see, the drilling continues. The other thing I had to do was uh, bleed off some of the uh, slurry. To help it drill. So what I need to do is I need to add a pump here, in here. Uh, and then, I think that's about it. I was mucking around and I did detach the wellhead. And this, and I tried to mess it. I'm gonna need a new a new system for that. A new boat. Something. I'm gonna need to do something for that. So yeah, drilling continues. It seems like all the drilling happens in the middle of the night. Why? <laughs> I don't know. But we are drilling. Oh, there we go. We hit oil. That means basically, basically what I was getting at was that I know I was hoping to now at this point detach it, but I'm not a, I'm not able to I'm not able to at this point in time. So uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, it, the barge is vulnerable. This is our movement. We have that much movement on it. So if a really strong storm blows in here, I don't think it's a strong storm. On the not for a little bit, but if a really strong storm blows in here, there's a risk that this could be damaged and potentially lift off of there. Yeah. So it's kind of the final part in all of this. Uh, what do I need to do? I need to refuel. Okay, so let's, let's go back to the ship. Uh, I need to refuel, and then I'll go back to port. I don't know, I'll grab the refinery barge and bring that out here. Cool. Not expecting to <laughs> Yeah, because at this point I wanted to detach the drilling barge, right? And just have the pumps. But unfortunately, uh, I just I'm not able to. It's just the, the whole the way the setup works in that, it's it's nearly impossible to try and get all the elements to combine. All right. Uh, oh, cool. We're cruising at. Um, let's see. I just have to get over to the other side. Rest. Doing this in the good weather, hopefully. Uh, fuel out is on that side, so we need to back up. Pitch, we can turn back. Uh, Yeah, so that's the only risk now, is that if there's a big storm, um, you know, the potentials, the potentials for that. 
Okay, so I have to be on this other side here. I think, I think it's this side. Well, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. Fuel out is on this side. And oh no, I gotta be on that side. Fuel in is on that side. Alright, I just gonna <laughs> I gotta spin around this. It's a little different being in these smaller ships, they do, they tip a lot. I'm like ever careful of that. Ooh, scientists are trapped in the building. Alright, so now we got our first well. <clears throat> our first oil well. Uh, so we can do two things, one of two things. We can either export the oil. Yeah, unfortunately for the hoses to expand, you have to dive under the water. Which it can be, it can be risky. Oh, see, and then it starts to shrink. As soon as you come up above the water, it starts to shrink. jump with it, but I can't, I can't jump with it, or else it'll pull me. So where is our fuel, I think our fuel in is there. <clears throat> yeah, oh I see, so I'm on the wrong, totally on the wrong side. Huh. This might not end well. This might not end well. has like a 6,000 liter capacity. Yeah, there we go. So I'm not too, I'm not worried about draining this because it only took about 2,000 units to get out here. My only concern would be a collision. If we accidentally collided with the, uh, doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. It might, I don't know. We'll see. It's the dangers of hoses.
danger. Wow. What happened there? <laughs> the RPS is just cranked. Oh my goodness, that almost tipped over. Alright, let's not do that again. <laughs> Yeah, so this just, it just needs to have enough fuel in it, so I can uh, leave it alone. Oh, that was dangerous. Holy moly. So mod, you have to be careful with the modular engines. They really... Alright, so... Doesn't, when it idles, it doesn't burn any fuel, and then once the uh, refinery barge is out here, it'll be perfect. Now, I don't, here's the thing about the barges: is I don't know if they're gonna um, like if they'll collide with each other when they're moving around and stuff, right? Like, so there's two options now. I can bring out a barge that sinks and it just sits on the ocean floor and it refines there and pumps the fuel up to the surface, which might be the safest bet. And then it can just stay down there. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I should have put this on a winch so it expands. I should have done, done that. I'll do that with this when I get back. All right, that should be enough fuel. Uh, I just don't want to. I don't want this thing to get too close. Unless there be a collision at sea, that would be uh, deadly. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's what I need. I need to have a, a fuel pump on here, like a winch. All right. So let's crank this. To Alright, we're just going to leave this thing here. And we'll see what happens. We'll save this. Uh Now that I'm not towing anything, I can probably cruise actually. It doesn't have an incredible top. I mean, it burns fuel. I'm sure I could get it up higher. I think 16 is Crank the engine and it'll just it'll go. Right, if the RPS becomes way too high, uh, 
uh, we'll start working so strong in the water that we're going to start doing backflips. That's how strong the engines are. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> so there you go. We're doing about 13. That's not bad. For a ship like this, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Probably go to 7. But like I say, if we go too fast, we're going to start doing backflips in the water. And that's what we don't want. So there is there is a top speed right? uh, unless I put on some uh, you know fins that hold me down like if I was playing or something. Uh, it's crate it's crate in the water, cool. And I mean, look at how bad we're we're just. Sucking up water or uh, fuel at this speed. Yeah. 18 RBS. You see, now we're sitting. We're sitting on. We get kind of a list. I don't know if that's because I'm lower on fuel. So maybe that was just the currents in the water that were pushing me uh, sideways. I don't know if the wind. Yeah. Who knows? Definitely too much weight. Right, so I just need to recalibrate the ship just a little bit. Uh, we'll put in that winch pump on there. And then I'll drag the refinery back. So like I say, options for the refinery. When it's full of fuel, it sinks. So maybe I'll just make it so it sinks. And then that way it can just sit on the bottom. Hmm, that may work actually. And I can just have like ballasts with hoses. Yeah, that would work. Because why? What, what's going to happen? What am I worried about? I'm worried about two things. I'm worried about... I leave the area to go do other things. And the refinery barge strikes the... Drill barge. And one of them sinks. The refinery barge sinks. It causes a big oil spill. Or... Or... Um... The refinery barge pulls too far away from the drill rig and the hoses are too long for the winches to winch in, which can happen. And then the refinery barge will glitch and fly to space. And that's just because the forces on the ropes are so... It makes sense. The forces on the ropes are so great. But to try to pull them back to into the working range, you need so much opposite force that it just causes the whole thing to, to flip. You know? Like literally, it pulls the ship out, the object out of the water and forth at such a fast speed that it'll throw you to space. So now that I can understand, 
I'm now just wondering if I use any any cables from here. I guess they're going to hide now. Oh, So let's spawn this back in. I just want to check on the wellhead just to make sure it's still. It's still anchored after all that. I know I'm flying into the ship. Uh, let's see, I want to turn that on. And the drill head. Five more lines. And then we go to channel three. Lamp. Oh, that's the well pump. So this is the well head. Six, two, eight, four. All right, and that's channel two. Yeah, perfect. Okay. See, when we're sitting here, when we're sitting here, we're per we're perfect. The weight is good. It's just when we're moving, it decides it's going to be out of balance. Whatever. Maybe it's fighting the ocean currents. I don't. Know. I'm not sure. Okay. So we needed to add a pump. We needed to add a winch on here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there's already a pump. So if I do that, and may as well add a winch to the other side as well. Do this real quick and then we'll take a look at the refinery barge <coughs> Alrighty. the refinery barge is pretty it's pretty basic it's a refinery that's a that's a barge <laughs> oh, let's see here. so not funny up, up, down, and then that's our fuel out. Okay, so I'll save this. I've got the other one without the nose on it. I saved that as well. I'm not sure which one I like, you know, which one I'll use, because I think, because now that I need to rethink uh, the, oil, the oil field, I might just need one of these just as an oil field uh, ship and take the uh, uh, fishing gear off of it. And then I'm gonna need another crane. And just, a, I just need to, I need more specialist equipment in order to take the drill barge off of the well. Um, so I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna figure that out over the next few days. Yeah, so that's gonna be like the next big project. How do I dismantle the drill barge and take it somewhere else? Anyways, so for now, for now we've got this. Uh, so I saved it. Yeah, I saved it again. Uh, and now I want to. Yeah, I may as well spawn it in, and I'll move it out of the way, and then we'll work on the refinery guard. It's still early in the morning. Right, if it sinks to the bottom, then ideally it's not going to move around. And that's what I want. I don't want it to move around, right? It's the moving. No way. Oh, I, don't, I don't think it is. I think it's just. I was gonna say it's so close. That's the best mission for rescue for grinding the seaport. Anyway. Yeah, if the barge sinks to the bottom, then when the waves come in, it's not gonna be moving around. It's just gonna be sitting at the bottom of the ocean. The only thing that could affect it is a tsunami. But I've got tsunamis turned off because I just don't care about those waves anymore. 
after dealing with it. That's more of like if I want to do like a special uh, search and rescue or something like that, then yeah, I can I can definitely see you do that. That I'm not gonna do a search and rescue game anytime soon. Five is our idle, and it idles at about 14 RPS, which is pretty good. Starting to learn the ship. Starting to learn the ship. Okay, now let's see if I can spawn the barge in. Right, so the barge has it can hold 60,000 diesel and 60,000 jet fuel, and then it has a, also a little bit of capacity for oil. And then it has the two the front and rear bilge pumps that the other barge has. So when it's fully loaded, when it's fully loaded, this thing here. Um, all right. So if it sank, if it sank. We would need a couple of things. We would need a couple of things here. Right. So we need winches for the exhaust. because these have to be able to go up to the surface. <clears throat> and then probably what we'll do is have to have uh, two connectors, one there and one there, and then we'll have to have a connector here, and we'll have to cut that. And we'll have to go up and around. Well, is there, am I not playing any music in the background? Let's get some music rolling for this, uh, for the building section, shall we? So we'll paste that, and then, uh, and I'll just have a release for these, and then what these will be is, let's see, um, no, we want, uh, we want a, uh, is it, oh, did it pause? Why you pause? Why you pause? I don't know, something's going on. Uh, let's see, uh, float. All right, let's take this here. One, two, three, four, one, whoops. Two, three, four. And we'll take this float. I gotta figure out why this isn't working here. This float. Oh, it's doing it on the other side. Whoopsies. Whoopsies, 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 whoopsies. Whoopsies! Oh, what's going on? What's going on with my interwebs? What's, go what's going on, YouTubes? It's not even a Saturday. Not even a Saturday, and YouTube's not working. Well, I apologize for that. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I am going to pause this. Let's see. I'm going to pause this, and then... Why isn't that not working? Oh, look. It wants to... That's so weird. It wants to stick there. Oh, you could have got to roll it. Okay, that could work. Is this working yet? If you're offline... Alright, 